my wonderful daughter, Kaylee. Together today, we're going to be demoing a great Valentine's Day project, which involves a t-shirt. Today, we're gonna to be decorating this gorgeous t-shirt in your own fashion, however you would like. Kaylee actually created this with a group of her friends last weekend. And today, I am going to be demoing how to do it on the t-shirt through this video. So you will need a basic t-shirt in your choice of color. I'm choosing red, she chose pink, and we have some other examples of white and black at the end of the video. So stay tuned to see what the other color of t-shirts look like. You will also need a heart cut out. You can do this by hand simply by taking a piece of paper, folding it in half, and cutting out your heart shape. You need a piece of cardboard or some form of a harder surface that you're going to place up in between your t-shirt and that way the paint does not run through the t-shirt. You need fabric paint or three-dimensional fabric paint and then you will also need a couple other products that you can find at your local craft store which are some dotting tools that you can find in the painting stencil section or a DIY dotting tool that's a pencil eraser. So guys, stay tuned for the rest of the video where I will show you in detail how to make this great t-shirt or one that looks very similar to it. Start with our shirt laid out on our flat surface and I have my piece of cardboard in between the two layers of the shirt. That way the fabric paint doesn't bleed through the shirt onto the back half. I've got my heart cut out here that I'm just simply going to take a piece of scotch tape and I'm going to do kind of a double circle little loopy thing to make the tape be double sided. And we're just going to gently place that on our heart in three different areas. That way the heart will stay on the t-shirt in the same spot and not move and then still be easily ready to pull up. You want to position your heart however you wish. I am going right for the center of my t-shirt, slightly down some. And I'm going to place mine right there. Then you want to decide if you want large dabble marks. If you want large dabble marks, you'll be using the large dabber, dipping it into your paint, and then dabbling around the edge of your heart. I do think I'm going to do a combination of both the large and the small. So I'm going to begin with my paint placed on a small tray here, little paper plate. And I'm gonna just dab a little bit in that paper plate and come over here to my t-shirt. And I'm gonna dab around in random areas. Another little dabble. Another dabble. And you can be as creative as you wish. It doesn't have to be exact doesn't have to be precise. There's no really, no real wrong or right to this. It is your artwork and your creation. So feel free to do whatever type of designs you wish. Just have fun with it. And switch to the small dabber. I'm just gonna fill in in a couple spots here. I'm just going to elongate out my little circle just a little bit, adding some extra dots. As I said, no real wrong or right way to do this, just be creative and have fun with it play around. You can switch your colors. I may mix a little bit of black in when I'm finished with the outline of the heart, but you get the idea. Then once that is dry, we're going to peel up our heart. Actually, you want to take your heart off as soon as you get done. And then once it's dry, we'll peel up our heart and see how our design turned out. I'm going to be silent through the rest of the video and put it on the fast forward mark so you guys can't really see or hear me. Well, you'll be able to see me, but you won't be able to hear me as I finish up the rest of my t-shirt. All right. 
Now I'm going to take a moment and I'm just going to peel up my heart, being careful that none of the paint stays on the shirt in the wrong areas where I wanted it to. And how about that? How does that work for a great t-shirt idea? And you just want to let it dry. And then I'm going to come back after this portion is dry and I'm going to write in cursive love in the center here with my black scribbler. So once that's dry, I'm going to do love and my t-shirt will be complete and done. And you guys will see the final product of this at the end of the video. So I hope you'll stay tuned and you'll watch the extra little clips that are on there because it gives you a great idea of some additional items that you can do with your t-shirts. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Bye. Hi guys, I'm Steph with Crafty Ladybug and this is my hey, wonderful please. daughter. You need to decide what you're gonna say. You say this is one time, this is blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna say this is my wonderful